Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, I just want to thank everybody who has subscribed lately and to all of my subscribers, you really do mean the world to me and you have really helped me in so many more ways than just a number on channel because that literally means just a number, isn't it? It's just a tally, but my subscribers don't certainly mean that to me at all. My channel is so much more than just a YouTube channel, to be quite honest with you. It is somewhere where I express my thoughts, I talk about stresses, things which are on my mind. I use different things on my channel. It's almost like, you could say, a vocation for me to be able to sort of deal with the stresses and strains throughout my life of dealing with sort of health problems in the background and sort of dealing with real difficult things, to be quite honest with you, without going into it in too much detail. But of course, I always feel that it's really important to know when something has run its course. Now, don't worry, I'm not saying that this is the end of my channel, but it certainly does bring me to a bit of a stage in my life where I need to take a bit of a break and I need to step back. It's not just from the channel, it's everything in my life, to be quite honest with you. I'm incredibly stressed at the moment, and I feel as though I'm starting to sort of approach that point of being quite burnt out. Um, work for me at the moment is very, very pressured. Um, I work in finance, so, uh, and we've, can't, we've just finished our, in, in United Kingdom, we've just finished our financial year. So it's been really, really difficult and it's been enjoyable and I've learned a lot about myself and about my role and it's really, really great going forward with that. So I'm looking forward to the future of that, but of course, I'm not like everybody else. I do have issues in the background. I do have health problems in the background. Um, without kind of going into that, I'm also trying to study in the background as well. Now, I'm studying a number of different courses, so that is a little bit pressured, you could say. Um, so my channel is almost like an escape, and I really do enjoy it. And every single letter, comment, you name it, which is presented to me on this channel, I thank from the bottom of my heart, because whether it's just a few words or whether it's somebody who's really decided to share something quite personal, something quite, something really special and meaningful to a person. And I just feel so humbled and so blown away when somebody chooses to share that with me to help me in my own personal circumstances, which is health, which is hearing problems, which is groin related problems from having so many surgeries, through just stress, through feeling low, down, that type of thing. I also like to use my channel as a bit of a bridge, in fact I do, for motivating, uh, so that motivation for people when they feel quite stuck in life, or what to do when you've hit a brick wall, when you're feeling a bit stressed, or when you're feeling a bit down and out, and uh, when you come to those difficult choices that never to give up, and to try and treat life as a blessing and to try and look at life is that it is so special because it is and that we shouldn't take things for granted. All too often, sadly, we do. And often people get themselves into a rut and they don't necessarily realise the love this life has to give. Sometimes you've just got to open your eyes and sometimes people sometimes just need, not all the time, sometimes I find it helps just if there's a bit of a direction to kind of help that actually somebody else has gone through something similar to yourself. They may well be able to help or even just a simple message, notion, whatever you want to call it, can sometimes sort of wake somebody up. I know it does me to think that actually this life is a blessing and nobody is promised a tomorrow. And if we are blessed with another day, let's grab it with both hands and run with it. So having said that, what I'm now doing is I'm going to be taking some time to kind of reevaluate. Lots is going on. And it's coming up to the year, which I cannot believe, it's coming up to a year since I've lost my nan. Now, my nan is my world. <clears throat> I find it very, very difficult that she's not here with me. Every day I pray and every day, because faith means a lot to me. And every day I wish that I had her. I wish that I could have, I wish that the Lord have allowed it. I wish I could have held her for a lifetime. And I miss her so much. I'm blessed in this life, I truly am, for incredible parents and a wonderful family, and I was blessed for many, many years to have an incredible nan, and I know she is up above, looking down on me, and looking over me, rather, um, and I know she's with me all the time, but it's tough, and it's difficult, so coming up to that year, and it would have been, and it, 
it's going to be difficult because it, I was so, so looking forward to this because my nan's birthday is actually on the 5th of June, which in the UK would have been the Platinum Jubilee bank holiday and the whole great occasion of that. So I was so looking forward to that. And we were going to do something special and as my nan would have turned 96, which I know is a very good age. And I feel blessed that my nan lived that long and I feel blessed for the wonderful years which I had with her. But... But it was still far too soon. I hope that makes sense. And I hope that's not awful to anybody. Because I know a lot of people are going through horrific things. And I know that you've only got to turn the TV on for the news. Or, or looking on social media. Or looking even on the YouTube community. That so many dreadful things happen. And a lot younger. Even younger than me. And I am privileged. And I am so thankful for my nan's life. Um, and for all the wonderful memories I treasure. But it's a difficult time. And with that I've had a few problems in the background with health wise. Um. Many of my subscribers will know that I went through some groin uh, hernias, which I had to have several surgeries, and I had problems for a long time. I've recently ruptured my repair, which I've kept quite quiet on my channel, and that's caused me a whole host of problems. And a couple of things have revisited. It's okay, and I'm thankful to report that that's kind of all subsiding now, but it's taken a lot of lot of stretching, physio, medication, that type of thing to get back there. But, um... I also have other problems in the background as well. So it's really taking a toll, and I will have to admit, and I hate to use the words, but I am starting to feel as though there's so much is going on in my life that it's almost just like, how much more can I take? And I'm really sorry to say that, and I'm really sorry that it means that I'm going to be taking a step away from my channel. But what I will be doing is I will be spending time with family. I will be concentrating on me a little bit more, um, and it will be nice. It will be nice. I'm going to try and switch off. My mind is always so busy and loud with stresses and worries. So I'm going to try and work on that. I'm going to take some time with family and I'm going to and I'm going to come back refreshed in several weeks. It may be a month or so, but it may only be weeks as well. So hang with me. Stay with me. And I will be back. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your very kind messages and the incredible messages which I received. Um, so yeah thank you so even though I, it's really important to know that when something's running its course not to drag it out and i think if i don't take this i think i think the quality on my channel may kind of suffer and i think that the ethos i may gear throughout my clips may well um not change because i feel like i'm quite good at sort of it's all smoke and mirrors, isn't it? Um, you can fake being on top of things and having everything in control. But, you know, sometimes too much control is detrimental as well to your mental health and you. So be careful with that. Be really, really careful. I think that brings me to a close of this clip, actually. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. And thank you so much to all my subscribers. I will be coming away from the channel, so that will mean that my comments and things which I receive, which mean the world to me, will be waiting for me when I come back. So please do not think that I've not answered or I've or I've gone off somewhere and I'm, and I'm not bothered because I am. As I say, even just a letter, a single letter, which somebody finds it within themselves to tap away for me, means, means the world. That somebody will even click on my channel to watch that. So thank you very much, and it really does mean everything to me. And on that basis, I wish you well, I wish you good health, take great care, and I'll be seeing you hopefully in a couple of weeks' time. In fact, I will be seeing you in a couple of weeks' time, so thanks very much, and until next time, in a couple of weeks, I'll be seeing you then. Bye now.